All right, guys, uh, good uh, morning or good day. Um, uh, I'm gonna do the quick recap. This is, uh, this is my last day in office. Tonight I'm planning to go to Europe for, uh, for two weeks. I'm gonna hit Spain for an ultra marathon race. And then I'm gonna go to Portugal and I'm gonna go to London and Scotland. So uh, today I had a really, really bad day, uh, like, <laughs> like the, <laughs> the rest of the other uh, week and uh, last week. Um, that I, there was nothing really in play. I didn't see any stock in play per se, but the technology sector was really weak. Spy sold off and later they took down the IWM with them too, just because of the concerns about the debt ceiling and the, a rising interest rate. Especially QQQ was the sector that is the weakest because they're um, you know, the most sensitive toward the interest rate. Um, and yeah, so they really sold off. It wasn't that bad at the open, but the, just the sold off uh, happened. And I tried to catch a reversal by trading the leverage ETF of QQQ, which is TQQ. On the QQQ, there is a big uh, level from last uh, couple of weeks at 361.10. So I was hoping to get the reversal there, but we really didn't get there. And I started making one, two, three, fourth bottom here. And, uh, you know, I decided to take a reversal on TQQ. Uh, the first one was a little bit too early. I jumped in at 130, got a stopped out. But I, I blame myself because we really didn't see much of a uh, much of a drop here. And then after that, when I got the confirmation for the double bottom, I went long, added more for, to get to this moving average. They came down. They just right to stop me out at the low of the day. So quickly popped back up. I went long, you know, sold some, added more, and again it stopped me out right at the low of the day. So twice it stopped me out right at the low of the day because, you know, I just uh, you know I was put this level as my potential uh, level and I, you know, try to get out of it. Never really lost this level that is making and now is again is bouncing and doing the same thing. It might essentially just recover and quickly squeeze. I mean, it's not really unlikely that go down because this um, cues is there, but I just, I couldn't trade it. Just constantly getting a stop out on it and it was just, it's just annoying. And it might break down eventually, but I don't think it's the QQQ has much more room down. Maybe it bounced back from 361 level or something like that. And yeah, I had a really couple of bad. Same thing I tried to do on AMD. AMD was just a representative of that. I mean, I tried to catch a bounce on S4. Uh, I got a really good bounce. And this is the S4 level. I got a really good bounce on it. Um, so I treat, uh, treated three times. First time I got a stopped out. Second time I made money. Third time was really good. And then right at 10 o'clock, there's a huge sell-off came in and I got a stopped out. So essentially it would be this trade. Um, so here was okay on AMD, but after that, I tried to catch a couple of reversals. Same thing at TQQ, just got to stop out, stop out, stop out. And yeah, you know, as you see, every time it's just coming, showing this sign of a strength, it's just going down. And I am, uh, yeah, I lost uh, really bad on, on them. So a really, really bad day for, again for me. It's, this is the second day. Last week was also really bad. So yeah, just constantly going in there, going in there, losing, 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 uh, and uh, really didn't make any money out of it. Uh, Brian, how was your day? Uh, it was it was kind of mixed. Um, I traded Apple. I finally uh, it was so you know it kept it kept pulling back and then bouncing back higher. So I finally did take it long after when it started to break out through 144. So I got a nice uh, move up and then it pulled back a little. Um, took it added back again and then it just uh, after that sold some and then it rolled over. I did short PLTR, which uh, which probably was from the open, which while it wasn't a bad trade, it was in into it a little late, but still got a nice move down on it. Other than that, I had some Neo nice. AMD trades that were meh. So yeah, it's a tough that's day. It. it was a really tough. tough I mean, day. I mean, I just I mean, depending when it's a tough day for me, it might be a really good day for someone else. So that's the TNA on their, their account. That. Yeah. Um, so when it's a tough day for me, that doesn't necessarily mean that it's tough everywhere. I mean, if I was short QQQ at the open, it was great. And um, um, yeah. yeah, Thor had a good day. He showed it a spy and he wrote that. And it really depend on, you know, the traders. I mean, there was definitely opportunities. I just didn't get any like, in the queues. And QQQ is uh, the index of 100 uh, NASDAQ companies, except the biggest hundred NASDAQ companies except financials. So it's representative of the tech sector because there's a lot of Apple, Facebook, Google, Microsoft, PayPal, Square, and the, the technology companies are in there. 
Um, but you can trade them directly or you can trade the, the leveraged ones that they're a combination of derivatives and options and futures in there that they track them with three times. Like QQQ is down 2.4%. TQQ is probably down 7%, 7.2%. Um, yeah, so thank you so much, guys. Appreciate that. Yeah, so my <coughs> PNL is uh, is uh, not doing great at all. So, but it is what it is. But I'm gonna I'm gonna fly uh, today. I'm gonna fly to Spain. If you're in Barcelona, guys, hit me up uh, for a drink or something. Uh, and if you're in Lisbon or Porto or Edinburgh, Edinburgh in Scotland, then you can definitely uh, we can have a chat together, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you, Brian. And uh, yeah, see you all uh, in Europe, guys. Cheers. Uh, I'll be trading. I mean, I'm planning. Maybe I miss tomorrow, but I, I will be tra trading from the Europe, hopefully on the road. And you know, I don't expect to uh, to to lose a lot uh, uh, of trading days. Cheers, guys. I mean